So, welcome everybody to Extreme Power No Handling Autocross. So yeah, this is basically like the uh, Forza Motorsport 6 series, but uh, on Forza Horizon 3 it's a mix of asphalt, dirt and uh, well other surfaces as well mixed in there. And uh, yeah, like that series, cars basically just have a lot of power into them with no handling upgrades. Uh, so that includes no off-road tyres and no off-road suspension on this game as well. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. So we're dealing with the 1971 Mayer's Manx. It has a 680 horsepower, 568 pounds feet of torque, 3.6 litre twin turbocharged flat six, and the car itself weighs 1,398 pounds. And it can do not 16.5.478 seconds, not to 108.050 seconds, and do 147 mile an hour, which is pretty decent considering you know no extra handling upgrades, so it's uh, dealing with its ordinary tyres and suspension, along with uh, everything else. So uh, yeah, let's uh, see what it can do and see what this course is like. It's the Redstone Mine Scramble. Uh, it's the most circuit-like one I found, but also putting in some motocross in there as well. There were a couple of other strong contenders, but they kind of felt a bit too either uh, similar to uh, the uh, Extreme Off-Road Silly Builders uh, series, and I uh, didn't want that. So uh, yeah, let's uh, get started. We'll get five laps in these cars. Uh, the, uh, the length of the circuit is 1.3 miles, so it's not too long. And uh, yeah, like I said, a mix of asphalt, dirt, and other surfaces, as you'll see. And, uh, yeah. It's a nice little circuit, this. Nice mix of different surfaces. A bit of water there. Right, back off the dirt and onto the asphalt. And back onto the dirt again. Bit of concrete with a couple of jumps mixed in. Yeah, this car's not enjoying the extra power, that's for sure. And a bit more off road. It's top, tight right under. to the final straight. So yeah, pretty simple circuit, but I think it's uh, pretty fun nonetheless. Yeah, ignore that, that's the only problem with this uh, game, is not being able to just set certain laps like you can with uh, Forza Motorsport 6, but I'll have to just work around the constraints. So yeah, let's see what else we can get out of this car. Did a 1 minute 14.141. I don't know, obviously, we're not going up against any cars, so because this is the first one in the series, but I'll still be interested to see what kind of lap time this can get out. Obviously, it'll get even more interesting when we start taking other cars around. interested in uh, clean laps, just like we are in an extreme off-road silly build, so don't worry about that. note on this car is the brakes are absolutely awful. Now obviously this car was only ever meant to deal with 60 horsepower, not 680, but still. Pretty shocking. Obviously being based on a Beetle, yeah, it's not got the uh, best handling either, so... I'm also not really going to set a uh, constraint on the kind of cars that can be entered into this series. I'll just take it by uh, uh, car by car. 
because the uh, handling stats on this are way off in terms of Ford Motorsport 6s. Because, for instance, apparently a local Motors Rally fighter has better handling than a Ferrari F40, which is something I'm, yeah, a bit, raise a bit of a couple of eyebrows there. So, yeah, let's just uh, play it by car by car. Slide this car. Take this car off slow for some corners because yeah, it does like to oversteer, to say the least. And here we go. Speed, 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 speed. And there we go. One minute, 8.201, which is a. Uh, well, obviously we don't know if that's going to be any quick or not until we get other cars going against one another, but that's a pretty uh, solid benchmark, I think you'll uh, agree. So, uh, yeah, there we go. Hope you like this series. I know it's not going to be as, uh, you know, cohesive as the likes of uh, the Forza Motorsport 6 one, because that game's obviously meant for the circuit racing and taking times down in more detail, etc. But, yeah, uh, I'm enjoying the idea of it and uh, we've obviously got plenty more cars to try out which I'm sure will uh, throw up some interesting uh, things but uh, yeah Mayor's and Manx fairly alright obviously it's shocking in terms of handling with all this extra power but uh, yeah it's uh, fairly controllable and uh, yeah pretty quick as well anyway thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one bye